It's a 40 minute snowmobile ride to the Trial Lake Snowtel site. So it's dense snow, uh, but it's not at the point where it's actually melting out right here at this point. Hydrologists with the Natural Resources Conservation Service measure the snow depth here by hand in addition to collecting automated data. They base runoff forecasts on these measurements. We're at about 200% of what we normally see at this site for this time of year. Nearly eight feet deep, four feet of water equivalent. Nine inches of water. Snow depth measured here just a few times in the last four decades. That's fantastic news. Snow depth normally peaks around April 1st. The black line in this graph shows how close the water volume is to the all-time record at Trial Lake. If we had a rapid warming at this point, it would pretty quickly uh, come off. Normally, early snow melt would be bad news. This year I would cheer that on, actually, because the more we can take a little bit of this upper elevation snowpack off the mountain earlier in the season, the less likely we're going to have flooding later in the season. Still too early to tell which communities may face flooding. In the near term, we expect our reservoirs and our streams to do quite well. Again, probably in the 170-200% range. Rarely is one winter's precipitation a drought buster for the region, but that's what happened. This is going to be one of those years like 2011 and the 83 winter that we're going to remember, I think, for a little while.